Hi everyone, GG Tech here again. Just uh, firing up my machine, so I figured I'd make a quick video on uh, just the startup procedure. So when you start it up, you'll get this alarm saying servo off. After you press the power on button, press it again. And there you go. Servos are now on. So then after that, what I do, or what you need to do, zero your machine. Over to zero. And then uh, auto return. X, uh, Z returns first on mine. And then X and Y. And then your universal position or will uh, be zero zero zero. You can uh, go over to yeah, we're there. Next next page. You can get the four quadrant one. So from here, I'm gonna check out my. Uh, uh, G54 offset, so I can't remember where I had it for running the uh, parts that I'm just about to do here. So there's a few ways to do it. Um, you can go to the offset page. Uh, so these are your offsets for your tool offsets, but if you hit next, there's actually your G54 offsets there. Um, the other way is you can go to parameters page, uh, sorry, settings page, and then scroll down until you get to settings 65, 16, 17, and 18, and those are also your settings. So you can enter in here by cursoring down and then just entering it, or on your offsets page, you can enter it by entering, you know, for example, Z minus whatever it is. You have to specify the axis that you want to to enter. Both work pretty well. I've been using the offset page recently, mostly because uh, it's a, you know it's a one page up or down away from my tool offset lengths. So, maybe what I'll do here now is I'll put in one of my pins. Sorry, it's going to get wobbly here while I grab them. And I'll put it in. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I'll just hand tighten it for now. I forgot to deburr these before I actually do the... Uh, drilling and tapping. But anyways, for this, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it for now, and we'll just check the Z offset. I'm, I'm just using the, uh, I'm just touching off with tool one for now. Uh, it's just the easiest method for me until I get some sort of Z uh, tool, Z axis tool, or a timer or something. Um, so yeah, so let's get uh, tool one in the in the head. So the way to do that is um, so sorry, lost my train of thought. You want to go to MDI mode and just actually say tool one. There you go, T1. You don't have to do the MO6 or any of that stuff I found out. Hit right. And then you got to hit uh, cycle start. There we go. I uh, can't remember. Yeah, I do have the air on. I just have to make sure I had air pressure. And here we go. That's it.
So we now have two of one. Go over to this manual jog. So I'll bring the part over. Oops, sorry, I kind of went out of the. Uh, there we go. Close. I'll go down to tenths, and just for this part, it's not that fussy. I'm just going to do the old shim trick. So for, I'm not sure I'm going to hold the camera and do it. Maybe I can set it down. See if that works. Kind of. Well, I'll just leave it like that for now. I'll bring it down. I know you can't see it. Okay, from there. Lift the camera up so you can kind of see. So, let's see here. Offset page. And, uh, <clears throat> so I have 6.43 programmed in and we're at 7.832. Because um, these, these pins turned out to be a tad longer than, than the last set I ran. So, no big deal. Uh, this this uh, dimension isn't really that critical, you know, within 50 thou or whatever is close enough. So what I'll actually do is enter that number in just so we're not smashing down. So, uh, I'll do uh, Z. Red. Minus, uh, where were we? Oh yeah, 6.3. Uh, eight, three, two, there you go, you can see it there, and then you just hit right, and there we go. So we just changed our set uh, uh, offset to match this little bit longer pin that I'm running. So I'll just back back up, and then Z, up we go, so now I'll be ready to run these uh, parts. All the other tools are work offset, or sorry, tool offset uh, off that tool number one. So those will automatically be at the right offset now. Um, so yeah, that's uh, a quick little video that's turned into a long video. So I'll stop it here and I'll just uh, shoot some more. Alright, thanks for watching.